European ethnology is really a strange subject because it's a little bit of everything, which I think is the great thing about it. But above all, it's the study of everyday life. That's the important thing. And many people think everyday life, well, you just live it, but everyday life needs to be unpacked. Anything can become a focus of interest. You can look at practices, look at uh, symbolic evidence, look at material culture. You could uh, do ethnology everywhere, standing at a bus stop, going to the movies, wherever. You could study almost anything. We are this combination of cultural analysts and cultural historians. So you might say it's a, it's a way of seeing the world from the cultural perspective, but also from the, culture, the perspective of cultural history. We don't have a top-down perspective. We try to understand why people do the things as they do in daily life and what makes them tick. You have to do research for that, and that research usually implies field work. So that means getting out of your academic environment and going into society, into the world. We interview people. We do uh, participating observations. And this is what really fascinates me, this method. Uh, fascinates me and I love to hear people speaking about their own culture, about the meanings they see in, in their own culture. Quite early when I started out as an ethnologist, riding the train, I had this idea we're passing this house, someone's living there, I could get off the train, knock on the door and say hello, I'm an ethnologist, I would like to know, know what life is like here. And I still have this idea, sitting on the subway or on a bus, you know, across a person, I start fantasizing about what kind of life is that. So I have this ethnological movement, movements all the time. So one of the things I find fun about ethnology is a special kind of analysis or a special style of writing that's very common in ethnological texts. And they start with a seemingly insignificant detail, something trivial from everyday life, blue jeans, for example, or a joke. And then, on closer analysis, they reveal this trivial detail from everyday life to be ripe with meaning, actually, quite significant. And it can tell us something new about ourselves, about society, about modernity. And so what at first began, as the very most, very most trivial thing you could think of turned out to be full of meaning once you set it in the broader context. We keep exploring new fields and that makes us, I think, in the end, very strong because it's an open community, an open field. We believe there are things to be learned that we don't know them all already. And that's one of the things I really like about the field of ethnology.